We begin with the flute medley. The artist, Yoni Avital, is here visiting New Delhi from Israel. <laughs> today of bringing you the message of the Secretary General. One and a half million Jewish children perished in the Holocaust, victims of persecution by the Nazis and their supporters. Tens of thousands of other children were also murdered. They included people with disabilities as well as Roma and Sinti. All were victims of a hate-filled ideology that labeled them inferior. This year's International Day of Commemoration in memory of the victims of the Holocaust is dedicated to the children, girls and boys, who faced sheer terror and evil. Children are uniquely vulnerable to the worst of humankind. We must show them the best this world has to offer. End of message. Thank you significant Jewish community flourished in India for more than 2,000 years in an atmosphere of mutual acceptance and sharing. This Indian philosophy of cherishing diversification and embracing all parts of the community is something that all of us should uh, take a long pause and think about from time to time. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alon Spies. I was born in Israel 46 years ago, 21 years after the end of the Second World War. The families of my parents came to Israel from, Euro uh, from Eastern Europe, but came is too strong a term. Only a small number of my relatives was lucky enough to survive the horrible slaughtering fields that Europe has become to our people and flee back to the cradle of our nation, the land of Israel. We are gathered here to remember the victims of the Shoah 67 years ago on 27 January 1945. A Russian army unit reached what remained of Auschwitz. Aware of the crimes they had perpetrated, the camp guards destroyed the complex and carried away most of the deported, abandoning the dying, who they thought would not live to tell their story. The world then discovered the horror of mass extermination. The date of Holocaust Memorial Day, 27 January every year, was chosen to mark the anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz. But as you know, there were many other camps which fell one by one to the Allied forces in the winter and spring of 1945. So to meet today, three weeks later, is to commemorate, perhaps, the march of freedom for the enslaved victims of these other camps. Only gradually did world public opinion, already inured to the horrors of war, come to know and understand, insofar as one can understand, the unique horror that these camps contained. Those camps were not mere concentration camps. Let us not use the euphemism of those who built them. Their purpose was not to concentrate in one place an awkward group so as to keep an eye on them. It was to exterminate an entire people. 